Okay, the ancient Egyptians. We knew the foot. Really? All right. Did they? I think they did. Here it is the moment I came across it near the Khafre Pyramid Temple. This is a signpost that I think the fourth dynasty Egyptians left us saying we knew the foot. And so I was explaining that as I came across this thing. It's something that looks like the Egyptian government propped up here. I took a lot of footage of, of it, but you can see there's this rectangle on display. Like why? Why just a single rectangle? And I measured it and I couldn't believe it. So you see, you watch, you tell me what you think. There's some, you know, sacred geometry here. That's one of the ways these people communicated, okay? So you're probably going to need the whole story, but, you know, do you want the whole story, okay? Because I know from YouTube analytics, you never watch most of the video, most of you, and the same thing with Instagram. So why do I do this? Because I know there's a few people listening, okay? So for you, we'll look at the other Egyptian sources to set the context for this engraved rectangle. First, the bent pyramid, okay? So... Uh, and then we'll look at the Giza Plateau. Okay, so those two. So let's cut to the chase. It's the numbers we need. Here's the Ben Pyramid. Okay, so obviously the Ben Pyramid is called the Ben Pyramid. It's 200 royal cubits high because it's got two different angles. So it's separated into a top and a bottom part. And they happen to be separated, those 200 royal cubits, with 110.1 on the top. And on the bottom, there's 89.9. Now why? Why, an even, why not an even 110.90? Okay. So there's that one. Now let's look at the John Legan's plan of the Great Pyramid. Uh, again, it's the numbers we want here. So he's got two 1,000 royal cubits squares here. Now again, Legan's a sacred geometer. He's really brilliant. This is the way he says this plateau is laid out. It's one of the ones he has. So across there, it's the distance is the square root of 2 times 1,000. Okay, and from top to bottom there, it's the square root of 3 times 1,000. And so the the uh, hypotenuse of that is the square root of 5 times 1,000. Very interesting. It just seems like the plateau is laid out, you know, in, in a very unique way. Sacred geometry. Now to the corner of the two of the 1,000 foot squares, that's also the square root of 5. Okay, so anyways, John Lagan says from this, that is really where the plateau is divided, right there, that blue line. And look at the division. It's 1101 and 80, 899. Okay, so again, we see those same numbers. We saw it at the Ben Pyramid. We saw it at, uh, at Giza. Okay, so again, at the Ben Pyramid, it's 1101 and 899. And uh, there they are right there. And then when we go to Giza, it's 1101 and 899. Okay. Why? All right, one reason is, just we'll look at this quickly. When you divide those two, you get root 3. I'm cutting through a step here, but you get root 3 over root 2. Okay, so, well, uh, so here's the unit square, and so when you take the diagonal of the unit square, it's root 2. All right, now let's look at the unit cube. Okay, so when you take the diagonal there, you're going through 3D space, it's the square root of 3. So, square root of 2, square root of 3, it seems the message has something to do with moving from 2D to 3D, because a lot of the drawings you get on the Great Pyramid and everything else are 2D drawings, but these are three-dimensional pyramids, etc. So, the, I think that this, you know, 899, the 1101 is saying something about, okay, you got to take what we're giving you here in, you know, plain geometry and build it into your life, 3D, go from 2D to 3D. All right, so we got the 1101 and the 899. Now back to our rectangle. Okay. So uh, there's a close-up of it. Okay, so we go across there and uh, we go from top to bottom. Okay, so the choices with, with a laser, you know, measure like I have here, Let's do meters first, okay? So the across is 0.274 meters, and the up and down is 0.335. Okay, interesting, but that doesn't stick out to me. It doesn't say much, okay? So let's look at feet plus inches. That's one of the choices you can have on your laser. So 0.6 feet, 25, 30 sec second inches on the across, on the width. And on the uh, height, you've got 1 foot and 13 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, so that's not saying much to me, okay? Now, you could do this in royal cubits. That's not a choice on the laser, but you could convert, so you'd have 0.523, kind of an interesting number, for the width, and then for the height, 0.64. Again, nothing is sticking out at me. So let's use uh, what you can use on the laser, decimal feet, okay? So when you measure the width, there's the actual screen that uh, kept track of the two numbers I took here, 0.899 on the width, and 1.106, which is over 99%, close to 1.101. I thought to myself, holy cow, 
I really think one of the purposes of this rectangle is to give us those numbers. That's what I think. I know you just can disagree. That's fine. I do. I just, because I came across this, you know. So, again, decimal feet. Only with decimal feet do those numbers appear, the 1101 and the 899. Okay, decimal feet. So, academic experts say the Egyptians didn't know the foot, the English foot. Okay, so... Here's a, an abstract to a paper that was written in response to a paper that I wrote. I wrote this paper, Giza Shaft Connected to Plateau Monuments by Even 100-Foot Distances. I said that on Giza there were the, these even 100-foot distances, and people said, well, the Egyptians didn't know the, the foot, so why are you saying the even 100-foot? But I just, because I found it, so I believed it because of that. Uh, and just coincidentally, this guy says... Uh, you know, if my geometry is accepted as correct, it can be concluded that Larry Paul introduced a major new discovery to Giza. So just for what it's worth, but I'm showing you that this, these are academic papers, mine and this paper in response to mine, and all the academics that weighed in, you know, the idea was, you know, they didn't know the foot. Well, I'm just telling you, I found evidences of the foot on the plateau, and it's in that paper. I really wasn't looking to defend the Egyptian knowledge of the foot, because I know I'm never going to win among the experts. I'm not a PhD. It's not my field. It's just, you know, a finding I made. But the Alpha and Omega, you know, the, the way Providence led me, I found this block. Okay, I wasn't looking to try and prove the Egyptians knew the foot. But, you know, I just think that if you, you take, you know, the 0.899 uh, for the width, and then the height of this thing is, you know, 99 plus percent of 1.101, that, you know, and, and only with decimal feet do these numbers appear. Okay, the 1101, the 899. Okay, so the ancients had hidden these numbers in different places. We saw that the Ben Pyramid had the 1101 and the 899. We saw that the layout of the Giza Plateau, 1101 and 899. So why not here? In other words, this, 899, 1101. Okay, why else a single dis rectangle on display? And again, it's only in decimal feet. This is like a hidden thing. This is like us you know, saying, well, let's send a probe out into outer space and we'll give it the fine structure constant to show them we know we're on the cutting edge of stuff. So you put this, you encode this thing. Well, it, you know, the fourth dynasty Egyptians looking down to the future thinking, we're going to show them through this little marking because it's only with if you measure in feet and, you know, decimal feet that you're going to get the 1101 and the 899. So, okay, I know you probably don't believe it, but there you go. <laughs> I do.